Welcome back, folks, to yet another Zero Takedown Ghost. I'm Bree Scotsman, and we are about to return to Hangsha for the second time. And uh, it's Hangsha with a twist. Massive spoilers, I'm sure everyone knows it. what's about to happen because it's everywhere. But earmuffs, if you need it. I suppose you can't just ignore them. Yeah, right. Chinese government, I've got to comply. Bravo Echo Echo 008, proceeding to designated coordinates. What the hell? We've got a Sam Luck on our tail. Can I have that kind of reaction time? I'm just saying. I, I would like to believe that I could jump out of a... <laughs> jump out of an aircraft before a missile hits. That'd be kind of cool. I would feel impressed with myself. So here you have a lot of options, but we only have one in order to adhere to the zero takedown ghost, which is... I hate to say it, gotta let her die. Um, I've tried all kinds of different things. There's no way to stop them from blowing her up without taking them down and doing so somewhat quickly. So There are tons of tutorials on how to do this non-lethally. I will provide my own on a different playthrough. Basically, I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time on this. Um, I've been going around doing it where I'm trying to get all uh, close quarters takedowns. But uh, uh, it works out well. I, I like to not, you know, see if I can not use my stun gun. But either way, she's dying. She's bleeding out. But she goes out like a G, man. Check this out. Jensen, I've been monitoring calm activity around Hengsha. Bell Tower. Let Pritchard feel you. bad for you. Hard. Ready? Here we go. Ready? Us, Here's his emotional depth. Malik didn't make it. Oh God. There I, we go. <laughs> I know you might want to get even. But actually, that does fit his character, so I don't mind at all. You, it might be better to stay out of their way. They definitely kept him in character. Anyway, so there's a ghost bonus for that section. <laughs> And you notice that you're continuing to have some pretty massive problems, although you notice that, wow, we're not the only ones. I mean, that poor bastard, you fell off of a staircase, man. Yeah, so she goes right back to her, uh, I'm a hooker pose. <laughs> but that was pretty funny. Hi, pardon me while I fall down. So now, okay, I'm pointing out that there are now guards you have to avoid. Jensen? Jensen, the World Health Organization is advising all augmented patients to check in with Lim. There's a problem with biochip technology. The glitches I've been experiencing. We've all had them. So far, I can't determine why. You heading to a clinic? I'm running a few more tests. But since I can't exactly run them on you, and we don't know when you'll be back, you might not want to wait. Hint, hint. Up to All right, so I'm showing off there's another guard up here. you got to wait for him to turn around if you don't want to be spotted at all. Now, let me explain that a little bit further. Um, here's a side quest you can grab. Um, I've literally played this game so far where, uh, unless it was forced by, like, say, the Malik save scene, I've never seen my radar go even alarmed. Except for the, let's see, the jump at Pika's communications in order to get their attention, to get the guards to move, and the jump to get Zeke to move. Yeah, everything else... I've never been detected. As far as I know, I, I think that's true. That should be true. Yeah, anyway, so here's a little rooftop entrance, by the way, to this uh, next objective. If you want to take uh, kind of the scenic route. Now, this is another thing where I I swear I am not detected, but I don't get a ghost bonus at the end of it. It kind of pisses me off. And I'm wondering if it's because uh, at the end, the guys switch over to friendly? I really don't know. I, again, it's just a little frustrating to spend all this time trying to be stealthy, and you really don't know if you succeeded. So...
You can go down further, but I didn't even bother to go down and see. There's probably a practice kit I missed or something. This here is a safe spot, even though there's a guy down there. I'm gonna cut some footage in a second. He won't spot you. But you do have to be careful of the guy that I'm pointing my cross here right now. He will spot you if you're not cautious about your approach. And there's also a guy that is asleep over there on the right. Well, I guess what's technically the left from where my crosshair is. There we go. Right, it's right near my crosshair, yeah. So the one that's seated is actually asleep, so you're able to sneak past him. I'm trying to get, uh, demonstrate this guy's path. He will stop. He turns and looks right at you, but you're behind the car, so I guess you're hidden. And once he paths back, then you're pretty much good to go. And you can, uh, you can do a swap turn here, but I think I just walk over. Uh, I need to be a little bit cautious as you make a turn to the left. I actually go and check this room. I think it's a bathroom or something. Um, because I wasn't sure what was in there, but there's not much. And pardon me if I don't seem too lively. It's pretty late. It's pretty late. It's uh, almost 2 a.m. here, so... Alright, so that guy's back is turned. I'm heading across. And you gotta uh, watch out for the guys on the radar if you look on the left of the radar. There are a couple of guys to deal with. There's also, yep, a uh, wall you can break through, waiting for the guy to path back. So you gotta be a little bit careful about entering here because there's a guy that'll path and look and see you. And he's coming back right now, actually. But see what I do is I wait until I can use this box, this strategically placed fragile box, to make sure that you're never spotted. And that comes into play a little bit further as well. So waiting for the patrol to path back. There he goes. You can swat turn across. I don't know if the guy sitting on the couch would see me, but... I'm going to swat turn over. I don't even go into... I don't know why I didn't feel like exploring this place, but... You, um, there's some gates behind me that you can explore, I guess. Who knows what's behind there. I'll find out when I come through and just mow everyone down. So yeah, this one guard, he paths pretty quickly to and fro, so you'll be waiting on him quite a bit. So you actually don't want to come out from this angle. And notice the box that's sitting on top of the other crate. So I'm going to swat turn back, and you just want to use that block his field of vision while you approach this crate, and now you can swat turn to your heart's content. I don't think you can even be spotted at this, at this point as long as you're hidden behind cover. Might as well grab the pocket secretary there. And I'll wait for the patrol to turn one more time. There he goes. And notice that there's one more guy uh, over by the hole in the wall, so you need to be a little bit aware of him. I realized I don't think he ever turns around, so I think I decided to just go. Yep. All right, so we're nearly at our objective, and you can go ahead and grab this box, move it out of the way, and you get a path underneath. And there are a couple of guys here, but they never look at you, so you're pretty much home free at this point. And so yeah, sadly enough, as you can see, I've made it through completely undetected. Absolutely nothing has spotted me. And I hit the cutscene. Everyone goes friendly to me. And sad but true, man. <laughs> I don't think I see a ghost or a smooth operator for this section. It kinda pissed me off to be honest. That's far enough, Guaylo. You disappoint me, Jensen. I thought we were friends. Then my hacker goes missing. You break into my place of business, 
And you don't even have the manners to knock when you enter our room. A lot of Bell Tower heavies looking for you. And you reason I don't just turn you over. Yeah. Vasily Savchenko. Never touch the stuff. You're wearing his arm. Bell Tower keeps two ships in port. They think nobody notices, but I keep an eye. Every couple of days, one of them loads up in the middle of the night and sails out. Heading where? A wise man doesn't ask. I just know the haze So here's the uh, out next tonight. lead that you and get to where she make port, I bet and it's you time you're a scientist. Uh, not to look a gift away. horse in the mouth or anything, Tom. But why exactly are you telling me this? Bell Tower been a pain in my ass too long. I think you give them major pain back, plus interest. All right, so the good news is you don't need to travel pretty much hardly at all in order to get to the next section. You can just run past these guys. And you take this little windy path here that uh, the waypoints provide. And by the way, for those that are, I don't know, upset that I'm using waypoints, these are intended as tutorials, so, you know, you can get over it. <laughs> All right, so just take the sewer entrance here, and there are, I think, I've counted at least six different ways into this area. It's ridiculously awesome. Um, I choose probably one of the more difficult. You can actually hop on top of the place that I'm at right now if you've got the electricity um, immunity. You can hear the buzz of the electricity, and that way you can just hop over the fence, or you can go over to the, uh, there's a little guardhouse I'm about to go over to, and you can trip a breaker to turn off the electricity there or <laughs> you can unlock the front gate or uh, I'll show yet another entrance that you can do that doesn't require you to uh, hack or uh, disturb pretty much anything or at least what you do disturb you can put back in place so you get a little word that there's also a sewer route but there are um, gas fumes that will choke you to death unless you have the augment that allows you to breathe freely. So I think going that route there's just a bot down there. So again, I mean there's I think about six ways in, something like that. I'm going to go in here just so I can grab the XP for hacking this stuff. There's the breaker box if you so want to uh, trip it and try the electricity routes or uh, open the gate itself. So. Go ahead and hack my way through these things. Access granted. Thanks again to the person, I think, on YouTube comments that said, hey, you know, you can just hack the actual red security tower part and that, get, that nets you everything. So that's kind of cool. Thank you very much for that. Access granted. So here you can turn off the camera. There's no need to. You can also... I think maybe that was about it. I think maybe you could open the door or something. I don't know. I didn't even look. I just hacked the thing and left it. So you notice that there's this big, fragile crate here. And the hilarious part is, is that you can pick it up and you have to be a little bit careful. Every now and then when I dropped it, it would like rise above my head and then slam down. So yeah, no ghost bonus here, which sucks. I don't understand why, but that's okay. I just figured maybe this, you know, maybe the section was too short to provide a ghost bonus or something. I certainly wasn't spotted. Um, so I realized, oh, let me cover my tracks, so I'll put this damn thing back in place. There we go. I've never been here. Move along, sir. So, there are a couple different ways to get to your objective. I choose kind of a roundabout way. Um, but there are ridiculously numerous ways in. So what I'm going to do is bypass a lot of this patrol and security here by going down below. Notice the sniper up on that one rooftop there. There's another one uh, over to my right that will path back and forth, but I'm actually going to hop down here. You can see there's one guard with a minigun. And he's pretty easy to get by. There's also a camera to deal with, so I'm waiting to see what uh, point this guy is on in his path. It looks pretty clear. Camera's on its way over. Uh, this guy thankfully decides to go check behind the boxes over to the right. So that gives you an opportunity to move forward. You just need to watch out for the camera as you make the next move.
So wait for the camera, you can see it's beam right there. You can just go right underneath it. And you need to be very cautious about your approach up the staircase because there is a sniper and I don't yet have a beat on, that's why I'm being uh, a little bit cautious here. This right here is a safe spot, so if you want to sit here and learn patrols and timings of all the cameras and the snipers and stuff, this is a good place to do it. So now I'm going to do something that's uh, kind of counterintuitive. I'm going to cross right out in the middle here. Notice that there's a guard here. There's also a camera, but it doesn't pan over. Like, yeah, it's it's um, currently panned over such a way it can't see me. There's another camera on my other side, and now I really have to move because there is a camera that's uh, starting to point a little bit towards me, but I can see it's still green. It hasn't spotted me. I was out of its range. So, lucky me. And here I'm trying to get to a position where the bot won't spot me. It's actually sort of your worst enemy here. It's also pretty easy to avoid, but now you can use this window, but I choose not to. Waiting for the patrol and the camera. And I'm in. So this guy's sleeping. Sleeping on the job. So you can just go ahead and hack the keypad, nothing will bother you here as long as you don't make any noise to wake the guy up. Access granted. And there's the there's where the sewer route lets in. So <laughs> So if you have the gas thing. You sure could teach my boy some tricks, Jensen. Tong? All right, so there's ghosts. How did you get operating. this frequency? Ancient Chinese secret. So yeah. Now if you listen, take the sewer route, it's you're really easy to get in here. package in Administrator Wang's office. Put it on the bastard's desk and trigger it. Sound good? Sounds like I'm doing you a favor. How does it help me? The explosion should distract the guards. Then you hop in a cargo pod and off you go. But you only got one shot. No turning back once you trigger that thing, you get me? I got you. Only set it if I'm ready to go. All right. So as you can see, there's yet another wall you can bash through if you want to not be stealthy. You can also go back into the sewers and come out in a different area. But I like going out the way I came because it's a little bit more challenging. And you can use the windows if you so choose. It actually might have been the, the best way, but I wanted to cover my tracks. So here, you're waiting for this damn bot and the patrol. And then you also have to be wary of the cameras as you come out. So, it looks somewhat clear. Popping out, looking around. Okay, and also the sniper up on the uh, far... Well, actually pretty much straight ahead. I mean, a little bit to my left. Up on the ridge there. You gotta watch out for him too. But he's checking over near the red barrel. So it's time to make a move. And now you have this guard to deal with. And once he turns here, you're pretty much good to go. You got just this camera to get past. And so I choose to kind of go on the inside, although be, uh, don't stop here because this is his path. He will come walking in this direction. So once you get here, you can go up the ladder as one way in. There's actually a few others, but uh, you head up the ladder, and I wasn't sure if I was about to be spotted by the guard that's now pathing down below, coming through, so I hopped up here just to uh, stay out of his sight. So he's walking away now, so I continue up the ladder. And there's this sniper. I was using radar to track when he'd be turning. And you can actually just sneak right past him here, but I was like, well, I want to go see what's up on the roof. <laughs> I 
thinking I would be able to find like a vent or something, but I actually did not find anything. And there's gotta be something up here. I, I must be missing something. Maybe if you're not being stealthy, you can just bust through the, the window that's up there, but uh, either way, I come back down. And this gives me the advantage of he's now on this side, and I can rush over and unlock this thing while I smack the trash can with my ass, because that's useful. Access granted. And we're in. So, what really bothers me about this section... Like, I didn't set off any alarms, I wasn't detected. No ghost bonus. So you're waiting for this guy to pass by the door? And here you can literally just walk straight on down. Nothing will spot you. Even though there's these guards all convening to have a little powwow. Just walk right by him. They won't bother you. They won't see you. Okay, now here is where it gets a little bit tricky. Everyone says that you have to be spotted by this damn turret. Or you have to have a cloak. And I say... Hell no. Suck it. I'm gonna disable the camera temporarily, jump up on the box, pick up the turret, wait, wait for the camera to come back online, hang on a second, I don't want to get spotted, alright, wait for the camera to pan back, uh, a, a camera wouldn't be able to see me, I just wasn't sure, so I'm turning the turret, and I'm going to leave it in a position where it will no longer harm me, it'll no longer see me as I leave, so... Waiting for the camera. And now you can just hop on down. Not spotted by anything. And now I've avoided getting detected by that turret later. So, yay. That's, that's nice. I've seen so many walkthroughs where people are like, oh, I've got to use my cloak, or... Hell, they don't even lament losing their using their cloak. They just use it, and I'm like, no, that's sad. Sad little panda. Anyway. And so now, normally you'd be spotted right about here by the turret, but not this time. Not this time. Or at least it would, it would at the very least be suspicious of you. So, bypass that problem. We go up, we get in, and I really wish I could have seen whether or not I got the ghost bonus and smooth operator for this section. I don't get it. Like, why on earth would they not show that to you? I mean, there's a cutscene and all, but it's a little, a little bothersome, to be honest. So, I'm gonna hack this stuff. We're pretty much at an end. All that there's left to do Access is to pick up granted. stuff, hack stuff, and set the bomb. Access granted. Alright, and I decided to go close the door, even though I'm about to make quite a disturbance. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, set off a bomb, why not? Shit! 